Hello everyone. Now I want to talk about a very toxic member of the Tekken community. And he says that I am cloud chasing off Tekken 8. I don't have any info on Tekken 8. I'm just putting out fake news. But I bet you that I would complain about people putting out fake GTA 6 leaks that don't exist. So anyhow, he says that all we got was a trailer from Jenna Kazuya on a revamped Tekken 5 stage. And I'm cloud tasting off of that, but I'm calling him a cloud taster because he's trying to grow his channel on being a human task choreographer. And he's actually adding lore to his videos as well. And nobody else can do this. This is his own ideas that he's putting out. But I feel as though that he should not put out his own ideas and try to go his grow his channel. He's cloud chasing because he's going to grow his channel. Man, I'm growing my channel just by talking about Tekken 8. So, he's a, he's a very toxic um, member of the Tekken community. And he has made, he has made insults on my channel telling me to do something other than the cloud chase of Tekken 8. And I'm very butthurt about that. And, and him and other people have been clowning me because I need hooked on phonics. I can't spell a five letter fucking word. I don't know how to pronounce Lydia. And I think Lida is going to be a Tekken 8. And I, and I think uh, that Lida Fakuma and, and Lidoy, Lidoy Smith is going to be a Tekken 8. And, and I don't think that's cloud chasing by making fake videos about Tekken 8. So he also says that it is not a proper analysis to say that a game sucks just because you I just because you lose a match in the game. I think it's and everybody has their own opinion. And I think it's right to say that a game sucks because you lost to an Eddie player in it. That's like comparing a bike to a motorcycle. That is not a proper analysis to judge whether a game is good or not. So he started playing Tekken 2, which was a phenomenal game that came out in 1996 when there was no other game that looked that good in 1996. According, according to my logic, he should think that Tekken 2 is a bad game. A game that sucks because he didn't master it at 8 or 9 years old in the arcade. So th this is a very toxic member of the Tekken community. Home Attack is a very toxic member of the Tekken community. Now he's a cloud chaser. Because he's actually doing what he says. He is a human task player who can play with both controllers and he's adding lore to his matches as well. He has entire playlists doing lore and rewriting the series. He's admitting to exactly what he's doing, but he's a clout chaser. He's clickbaiting. It's clickbaiting to do to say what you're actually doing. Meanwhile, I'm putting out fake um, lore videos about Tekken 8 and reading Harada tweets and pretending that I actually know what's going to be in Tekken 8 when nobody else knows because there is no actual new information that's been put out. So please like, share, and subscribe my videos everybody. And if you would like to hear more videos of me roasting these Tekken people, these people in a Tekken community who don't go outside and is illiterate and don't get pussy, please subscribe to my channel because I can do a lot work, a lot more than just uh, be a human task. I can roast, I can go complete low tier god mode and roast these virgin motherfuckers that got something to say about my comments and and, and my videos. Because why should we have somebody that's actually putting out his own stuff and then and in fact my videos are so toxic that
that the cop you hear the cops in the background that are coming after me for stating my own opinion. So if you would like to see me get arrested on my channel, please like, share, and subscribe.